Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Xerneas King here, and today I have a very, very special video that I have prepared for you guys. Uh, it has taken me quite some time to do, but um, everything has finally arrived in the mail, so I have some goodies for you, and I can already see that one of these ETBs, uh, actually that is, look at that. Okay, let me... <laughs> Before we get into what I was saying, that just caught me off guard. Okay. <laughs> um, I've bought some very, very cool vintage items off of eBay. And in addition to showing off said vintage uh, cards, I also already opened and got out the booster packs of two Sword and Shield base set ETBs. And yeah, look at that. There is, uh, some horrible crimping, so these are gonna be error cards. Look at that. <laughs> okay, I guess we're gonna start with this. I wanted to get into, uh, something else for you first, but... I'm gonna keep this pack just like that, and they literally just slide out. It is a white and green code, but check that out. Look at the cr I guess, oh, it's only on the first card... That's pretty sick, though. Uh, I might keep this one just because it's all crimped. I'll give out all the other ones, I promise. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four to the front. So we have, is it the water energy that's crimped? Nope. Is it the rare? No, okay. <laughs> we got water energy, we got heat more, metal saucer, it is a quick ball that is crimped. We'll keep that in my collection. I love seeing error cards like that. Very cool. Um, but yeah, I want to open like a, <clears throat> like a pack or two and then I'll slowly but surely start to show you guys what I got. Mincino. We got a Pharaoh Seed. Ooh, we got a Zacian V. Okay. There we go. I do have my regular sleeves here. Okay, we got first pack magic on a opened uh, pack. Hey, let's just make some room there. Um, first off, yeah, I've bought, been buying a lot of uh, vintage things lately. Won a couple of auctions. First being this um, Articuno Hollow Rare from Fossil Set. Very cool. It, it, it does have a decent amount of, like, hollow scratching on it. Yeah, you can kind of see, but... Uh, no one else bid on these next couple cards, and I believe I got all of them for, like, less than $3 a piece. So, that was a no-brainer. <laughs> I'm very excited today. The, the biggest part that I've been waiting for arrived today. Something I had mentioned a couple videos ago. And, uh, yeah, I'll have a couple of questions for you guys once we get to that portion of the video. So we got Darkness Energy, Corvus Squire, Thwacky, Pokemon Catcher. We have a Ball Toy, uh, Chin Chow, Zizlipede, Zigzagoon, the Galarian Breed, Mudbray, and a Drampa. Now, I haven't opened up a whole lot of Sword and Shield base, but I have opened up a decent amount to know that there's a couple of good cards in the set. Obviously, you want, uh, I want to say it's one of the Pokeballs, like the Quick Ball or something like that. Gold card. There's the Marnie uh, Trainer or the Hollow, or Hollow, they're all Hollow, <laughs> um, or the Marnie Rainbow, should I say. Um, the Snorlax VMAX, and I think the Lapras VMAX as well. Blipbug, Snom, and a Drapion, non hollow. We'll do a couple more. And we will get in to the next purchase. If this video ever were to be sponsored, it would be sponsored by my wallet because did a lot of scavenging for it. Many, many days of just 
looking at eBay listings, trying to find the right one. Make sure, ooh, it's so cute. And make sure the seller was, you know, a good seller, had good reviews. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll show you the next one. Next, we have a hollow rare Vaporeon from Jungle Set. This one was, I think, in like the best condition out of all the cards I bought. Let me see if I can show the hollow. Like there is almost no scratches on it. And, uh, well, I mean, there are, I guess, some. Let me see if I can hit the light correctly. No, I don't think you're gonna be able to notice it. Uh, I mean, there are some, you know, scratches going, you know, left to right or right to left, but I mean, besides that, there's like no damage to the actual card itself. Um, these are all, all the cards, like the loose cards you're gonna see are from the same seller. Um, you have them listed as different auctions, and like I said, I won all of them. And then he actually uh, contacted me and basically told me like, hey, um, you know, since you won all three auctions or whatever, uh, I'm gonna do you like a partial refund for like shipping and stuff and just send them all together. So I was, you know, pretty happy about that. Got a Thwacky again, another Pokemon catcher. We got Nicket, Chinchow, Diglett. I think we got something on the end there. Noctowl. Ooh, Stone, St Stone Joiner VMAX. Very cool. Not gonna lie, thought that was the Snorlax. I got really happy, but we'll take that. A hit is a hit from an ETB, right? So not guaranteed. Oh, I didn't even think I mentioned it was uh, 16 packs, so like half of the booster box. And I said it in my last video as well. I found um, these at Target on Saturday. Today is Monday. So it was the, literally the day after uh, Black Friday and didn't think I'd find anything, but they had, I wanna say like eight Sword and Shield ETBs. Ooh, Yamper Reverse, an Ore Beetle. And I was like, well, no one else is gonna take the ETBs, you know, I'll, I'll help myself for two of them. And they're like $39.99 a piece. Uh, same with the Fusion Strike ETBs as well. They had a couple of those. Same price and everything as well. So. Oh, I didn't even realize today's Cyber Monday. And I didn't even bother to look for any deals on like Walmart or Best Buy uh, to see if they had any Pokemon cards. Ooh, Galarian Ponita. Very cute. Thwacky. And very fitting. A Stone Joiner V to go with the V Max. Oh shoot, I also forgot, um, darn, maybe I'll be able to pull that out real quick. Um, there was three other cards I picked up. I think it was from a different eBay seller, <laughs> go figure. Uh, they were basically selling them as a lot. It was, I believe, oh, the Chikorita Evolution line from the Japanese jungle set, I wanna say. And, oh my god, I think I paid $14 or just so. They're in beautiful condition. I mean, like, perfect condition. After this pack, we'll uh, take a look at the next, or the last loose card that I bought, aside from the Chikorita Evolutions. Bada bing, bada boom. And four. We got Wada Energy. We got a Raboot. We got a Chinchow, Diglett, Ferroseed, Goldeen, Drampa. Ooh, Hollow Rare, Boltound. Any Boltound fans out there? Not me. Not a fan of the Electric Dog. And the last one. Uh, is a hollow rare Zapdos. I believe the mark or the listing said it was from base set. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I mean, this thing also looks in. I mean, there's some bend to it, obviously, but the uh, it was a little rough on the back. You know, pop up on the top and a little bit on the bottoms, but still a very good deal. I got this for I think eight bucks. 
And yeah, very happy, very happy. I'm trying to make sure you can't see what's right there, which you can't, so it's good. <laughs> <clears throat> Hope y'all have been doing great though. Been really happy to just, you know, chill out towards the evening and uh, just open up packs for you guys. We got Steel Energy, we got Raboot, we got Hop, Pokey Gear 3.0, Sobble, Pincurchin, Blitbug, Rhyhorn, Mincino, Clubopus. Cinderace Hollow Rare. Pretty cool. Yeah, we still have a decent amount of packs left. Oh, yeah. And I do apologize. I did totally forget to uh, take out the ETB um, code cards. And uh, they are all packed back away. <laughs> Uh, Metal Sasso, we got a Quick Ball, and a Frost Seed, Pharaoh Seed, sorry, Rosalia, uh, Joltik, Silicobra, Grookey, Sable IV, the Greedy Gem Goblin, oh, that almost bent in half, <laughs> as I'm trying to catch it. And I won't tease you guys anymore with this. Take a look what finally arrived in the mail. A sealed long stem pack of Team Rocket that I bought off of eBay. It was an unweighed pack, quote unquote. And I mean, I looked over this thing, everything is still, you know, pretty glued still up here, which I'm not gonna bother ripping that open. I didn't see any signs of like, resealing you know the bottom portion down here is still pretty mint pretty sealed but let's take a gander at this bad boy i spent probably about a week and a half just looking at different ebay sellers um you know basically trying to find the you know the right one that worked for me that uh, wasn't wasn't over two hundred dollars um i think the market price i paid for was like 168 and I couldn't be happier. This is gonna stay sealed. Um, fingers crossed. I'll get you know that itchy that itchy finger to do. You know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> like I said he said it's unweighed. I got out my baking scale as soon as it or as soon as I got home from work, um, and I went ahead and I weighed it. What from what I could find online, a heavy pack of Team Rocket is about 21 grams, and I would like. You know, if anyone knows for certain for this set, for Team Rocket, if you know what a heavy pack versus a light pack is, feel free to please, please, please drop a comment. So I weighed this, and it weighed 21 grams. So, I, I, I don't know. I'm hoping. But, I mean, the, uh, the owner of this pack must have taken absolutely, like, immaculate care for it because it just it looks so good there's like no scratches no tears um everything just looks so so clean and that's what i was looking for and that is what i've been waiting to share with you guys also if anybody knows uh, where to find a uh, pack holder that'll work for long stems also drop a comment i'd love to know uh, we got Rosalia, Chudel, Blitbug, Rhyhorn, Baltoy, Inteleon, Hollow Rare, with an unfocused camera. There we go. But yeah, that's the big surprise, everybody. Very excited, I think. But, uh, I mean, as much as I want to say I just want to start collecting a whole bunch of sealed vintage cards... My wallet doesn't want me to. <laughs> so, hope you guys are uh, as excited as that, as I am, because that marks a big spot in my collection career. We are almost at our six month anniversary for YouTube, which is huge. It's already kind of crazy to believe. Ooh, Snorlax B. 
So, sorry. As I was saying, it's almost, you know, it's hard to believe I've already been, you know, posting videos at least for almost six months, let alone collecting basically since the right before COVID started. And, you know, now we're rapidly approaching 2022, which uh, I don't know about you guys, it's going to take me a, a hot minute to get used to saying 2022 instead of 2021. So, uh, you know, good luck as well. Oh, a little Hitmonchan. Great Ball, Glass of Flitter. Whoops, I skipped the Goldeen. Diglett, Scorpio. Scorpio? No, not a Scorpio. <laughs> Grookey. Another Cinderace Hollow. Down to our final two packs, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Hope you guys have had a relaxing weekend. Maybe even opening up some cards too. Uh, let me know what you guys picked up for Black Friday slash Cyber Monday. If you guys picked up anything. Uh, I did see something in here, I think. So I'm kind of nervous to see what this is going to be. I'm going to guess uh, Leaf Energy. We got Lightning Energy, Seeking, Thwacky, Lucky Egg. Come on, Lucky Egg. Crabby, Mincino. Galarian Ponyta, Cottony, Score Bunny. Are you ready for this? Let's make sure we're in focus. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ooh, <laughs> Lapras V Full Art with that, ooh, that very cool background. Very green, blue over here, like a very light yellow. The texture is not going to load on, you know, not going to render on the phone camera. You can kind of see a little. Oh, there you go. Let's go. Talk about second to last pack magic. Now, will it refocus or do I have to poke it? Hello, focus. There we go. Beautiful card. I didn't even know Lapras had a full art. All right. So yeah, like I said, drop a comment if you know um, what a heavy pack of Team Rocket weighs. Um, if you know where to buy long stem card pack holders and if you guys have enjoyed the video uh, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated but obviously not necessary i love doing this for you guys for fun and yeah we are rolling it out and we are going to end this on besides a rhyhorn reverse on a clay doll a lame lame clay doll <laughs> Um, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, I had a really great time. Basically just, you know, I've been excited. Definitely excited to show you guys. And uh, stay tuned to uh, see what we add to the collection next. Until next time, you guys, I will catch you in the next video. Peace.